Apex Legends is a AAA game, and just like any other AAA games, it has its fair share of spaghetti code, where the code is so old and with so many developers that it's just a mess to work with. This leads to a fair share of bugs, glitches, and exploit that we see every single patch. Some of these bugs and their interactions are just downright hilarious, so I figured that we're going to go over 10 of the funniest bugs in Apex Legends history. On number 10, we have the Apex Overdrive and Killer B Bangalore skins. Equipping one of these skins would turn the Bangalore almost completely invisible, revealing only their head and the gun that they were currently using. Keep in mind that you could still take damage, so players could sort of try to piece together where to aim when facing these skins. However, this didn't seem like too much of an intentional exploit by whoever used it, since there wasn't a specific set of actions that needed to be performed in order to activate this cloak of invisibility. After running around the map for what seemed to be a set distance, the skin would suddenly just turn Bangalore invisible. To add even more hilarity to this whole situation, there was an old viral clip where Apex players thought that they had seen a dog or a Sam Squanch of sorts, figuring this would be a hint of the upcoming Loba character. Turns out this was just another early instance of the Bangalore skin messing up. Though when I saw this two years ago, I definitely thought that this was a wolf of sorts. If you also thought that this was a wolf the first time around, make sure to smash that like button. Up next, we have the Trident Jump Pad glitch. This hilarious glitch sends you absolutely flying using just a jump pad and a trident going hundreds if not over a thousand meters far at its peak. In order to do this, users just had to place a jump pad right next to an object such as a loot bin or a care package and then just drive a trident into it. You didn't have to hit the boost or anything like that, it seems like placing the jump pad sort of activated the object and simply touching it the right way with your trident would make it go off. The sudden velocity carried over when you exited the trident as well, giving Horizon players a chance to use this movement to bounce around the map and make satisfying movement plays. Map objects can also be activated in other ways earlier in the game, but more on that later. On to number 8 is another absolutely crazy bug. Back in the earlier versions of World's Edge, we used to have a train driving around the map. This train would go through most parts of the map and drop some very high tier loot, making it a great place to drop hot. But the train had one sinister feature. It would just randomly kill you. <laughs> not just knock you, it would crush you with a whopping 1000 damage. It's a bit shaky on why exactly the train did kill you, but it seemed to be related to collisions, and there seemed to be a big risk of getting killed if you were standing in between the train's carts when it was in varying degrees of elevation, like in the Lulu clip, or if you got too friendly with a death box, as this would sometimes just crush you. Then we have the Flying Rampart AC-130 above glitch, where Rampart players were overjoyed to find that her ultimate Sheila could not only be mounted on tridents, but on top of Crypto's drone as well. Chaos soon ensued, with full teams running Crypto and Rampart, driving around in tridents with the Flying Rampart ultimate mowing down entire teams without a chance to fight back. On to number 6 is this strange bug where a respawn player would come back as an entirely different legend. This bug has come up several times in the past, dating as far back as to season 3, with its most recent appearance around August 21, and it's still unclear what exactly causes it. Some players have speculated that it has to do with the revive player already having left the game and swapping their legend in the loading screen and then reconnecting. At one point, there was an unexpected twist to this bug where only the character's appearance changed, but their abilities remained the same. Meaning you could see a Wraith grappling around or a Watson using Mirage's deco abilities. As opposed to the more recent one, this could be done intentionally, but I couldn't find a public source on how this bug actually was performed. As for number 5, I am still a big fan of the Apex Legends bug that make you go nuclear flying across the map, and this loot bin glitch is no stranger to sending you flying. Much like the Trident glitch, users could activate loot bins by throwing a jump pad on top of them, and then just punching the bins. These bins weren't secured with the ground and would start vibrating. If you've ever played a source game, you know what I'm talking about. And what would happen next? The more punches the players would sink into the bin, the more momentum it would store, which then would be released by you climbing on top of it and jumping off the top. This momentum glitch actually worked with other objects as well, with the most notable being the supply ship on King's Canyon. If you thought that number 5 was crazy, just wait until I show you number 4. I dare to say that this glitch sent you even farther than the loot bin punch glitch. It was just a little bit more inconsistent. We are of course talking about the Horizon Deathbox bug. This hilarious glitch was surprisingly easy to perform and initially just looked like a fun little bug when Horizon players saw that they could make death boxes start running away from them, only to be shocked when the same death boxes sent them flying across the map. 
In order to do this, users had to simply shoot down a developer death box, you know, those that the flyers are carrying around, and then throwing a horizon tactical underneath it. The death box would fly up into the air and eventually come down and start sliding around the map depending on the map's geography. Once it finally came to a stop, users could stand on top of it and simply walk off the edge to get sent to ungodly velocities, both horizontally and vertically, depending on how the box was traveling. To this day, I think this has to be one of the craziest bugs of the sort in Apex Legends. On number 3 we have a glitch for the real OGs. This ancient bug appeared in early 2019 and allowed users to stick Caustic barrels or Octane's jump pad on top of Gibraltar's shield. The game seemed to recognize it as solid ground and would allow you to stick things on top of it as long as Gibraltar kept his shield up. Sort of reminiscent of a more recent one, namely Newcastle's energy barrier. This led to absolutely hilarious clips and screenshots such as this where Gibraltar had not only one, but six caustic barrels sticking out of his gun shield. I don't think there was much you could do with the barrels once you got them there, but at least we have these screenshots documented for the ages. To make matters worse, not only could anyone use the jump pad when it was stuck to Gibraltar's shield, but even Gibraltar himself could use it. This was doable by him simply looking down and allowed the Gibraltar player to reach some crazy heights. It's a shame that this bug surfaced so early in the game, because I would love to see what you could do with a more recent build of Apex. This bug on number 2 left most of the community dumbfounded and making crazy theories about whether some new limited time modes were coming. For whatever reason, Apex would randomly put you in squads of 4 or 6, with the rest of the server having free party members like usual. These games were oftentimes played to completion and in some cases had them winning. I'd imagine that would be something frustrating to deal with, suspecting that two teams were colluding only to find out that the game put them together all along. This bug didn't only happen in public matches and random ranked, but also found its way into tournaments, randomly taking players out of some teams and putting them into 4-man squads instead. Before we move on to number 1, I would love if you guys hit the subscribe button, currently only 16% of you guys watching my videos are subscribed, and it would help out a lot if you do hit it, not to miss any of the bangers that I drop on this channel on the daily. And finally, let's take a look at the most hilarious bug in Apex Legends history. This bizarre invisible map bug turned normal battle royale games into absolute chaos chaos, followed by an all-out brawl boxing match. If you played Apex Legends in the summer of 2022, there was a very low chance that you and your lobby simply would spawn on the dropship without a map. Instead of World's Edge, there's nothing going on but the skybox glitching out any graphics with a considerably small opaque rectangle in the middle that you could stand on. Players who landed in the middle would start punching each other or use their legend abilities to become the Apex champions. We never really got an explanation as to why this happen, but to me this stands to be the funniest bug in Apex Legends. But what about when these bugs are used to get an unfair advantage? Check out the video on the screen to see the top 10 exploits in Apex Legends history. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.